Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to color one of my capybara drawings in Procreate and show you some useful coloring methods while drawing. Let's get started. Here's a picture of a rough sketch from my sketchbook. I make a simple outline based on the sketch and use it as a reference. Before coloring, I have to rub the tip of my apple pencil with a small piece of washi tape. Because the paper lies green protector is quite rough, if I don't rub the tip, I have to replace it with a new tip for each individual drawing. First, I lower the opacity of the outline. and color the capybara on a new layer. Turn on the freehand tool, select the area I want to color, click on the brush icon, then color the selected area with a brush. I'm using the tinderbox brush that comes with a texture. When I use the color drop to fill the shape, the texture will turn into a solid color. I also need to avoid color overlapping. Since it's semi-transparent, the overlapping areas will be very distracting. There might be some imperfect areas, we can refine them with a small size brush. We can use the freehand tool to erase the drawing, select the area, click on the layer thumbnail, and choose clear. If you are using a solid color brush without texture, you can use color drop or reference. Go to the outline layer, turn on reference, and add a new layer on top of the reference layer. We can fill the shape with color drop, but we need to make sure the outline is properly close. This method is efficient, but in my case, it didn't work well for me because there's no texture added to the shape. The freehand tool is more helpful because the shapes in my drawing don't need to be delicate.
The stones create a border around the hot spring, which is a perfect close outline. We can use the automatic tool to select the shape with a simple click. Before that, I need to finish coloring other shapes within the hot spring. I duplicated all the color layers and then merged copies to get a complete drawing. On this layer, only the hot spring area is not yet colored. We can use the automatic tool to select the shape. Click the brush icon. Add new layer and then fill the shape with a brush. The hot spring is on a single layer. If we need to make changes to the capybaras, oranges, or stones, we don't have to worry about damaging other shapes around them. To add shadows, I add a new layer on top of the shapes and select the clipping mask. Anything you draw on the mask layer will be clipped to the shape right below it. Alpha Log is another way to add shadows without going outside the boundary. But the disadvantage is that all of your elements are on the same layer. So if you exit the file, then go back in to change the shadow, you will change the base color as well. So I would recommend drawing on the clipping mask so that you can always go back to the mask and make whatever changes you want without affecting other colors of the shape. If we need to adjust the size or position of a shape, we can use the freehand tool to select the shape, then use the uniform tool to proportionally resize, rotate, or reposition it.
This is one of the stickers on my Capybara sticker sheet. I need to make sure the details are visible when I scale it down. I'm pretty happy with the drawing. All elements are on a separate layer and I can always go back and make changes if need. Thank you so much for watching. For the next video, I will show you how to make my first sticker sheet. If you love capybaras, please stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. You will see more capybaras next week. Bye bye.